Hello, friends. Welcome to the 12 Days of DIY. Our hosts are Rustic and Lace DIY and Molly Cole Creates. Please check out their channel and the and the playlist in the description box. And uh, it'll also be in the comments. And if you haven't, please like and subscribe to help my channel grow. I hope you enjoy the DIYs we're working on today. Okay. I was going to... There's two ways I do a garland. And this is my garland for my mantle. I either take two pieces of ribbon and and I'll dub tail each end. One on top of the other. Like this. And I'll start it down here at the bottom. And I'll leave maybe six inch of tail. And then I'll start by just wrapping my... And that'll be the first start. I'll either do that. Or if the garland's really, really nice, I'll just use one ribbon and maybe an ornament garland. And I will start down here and do the same thing. I would start down here and I would add the garland here and then just keep going. But this garland's kind of underwhelming, so it needs more. So I'm gonna start with I'm going to start with our ribbon down here at the bottom. I'm going to go up about six inches and I'll pinch here, add it. Then I'm, I try to keep it all the same length. I don't know. I'll grab something. If you have a if you have a yardstick, twelve inches, use that. I don't have one on hand, so I'm going to just use this glue stick. So it's all even, and I'm going to go to end of the glue stick, and I'll pinch. And then I'll take the two apart like that. And I will go on up. I will do that this till I get to the end. And I'll take this one and go the other direction. I'll pull these out here. And I'll do this all the way down to the end. Okay, here's our garland. I added lights. Now I'm going to add all the stuff. I have poinsettias to add. I have peacocks to add. Thank you. 
Okay, these are smaller than those, so I'm gonna just add the two poinsettias together to make it have more of a statement. And I'm adding them right there where those loops come together. Come on, tricks. Stop scaring the puppies. Then at the end, which I don't know if you can see the end, maybe you can see the end. I'm going to add another set of these. It's one gold and one rose gold, and you can put them together, and it makes more of a statement. I did the same thing on the tree this year because these wasn't as big as the other poinsettias. I have all kinds of different colored um, peacocks, because that's our thing. I found these at Walmart. So we're going to just go through. Oh, that one doesn't have one on it. So he'll be set. I'm going to go through. I'm going to just start clipping peacocks onto our garland. My only problem is the way they clip, sometimes they seem like they're backwards. So, I like to have mine face forward. I'm going to have this one here because he doesn't have a clip. Um, I'm going to have this turquoise one out here towards the end. But like I said, make sure they're face forward. You want their faces forward. Or at least I do. And just go on down the line, adding the different peacocks. Here's a turquoise one. I know I have another pink one somewhere. We may have to stop and look for him. He flew away. tricks tricks likes to harass the puppies and I'll add that one there make sure to take the tags off and then I have some of these that I can add in just to fill in another kind of peacock. I can set him maybe here. Oh, come on. No, he isn't set. He is a setter. Maybe he won't work. I also have these little birds that I might be able to set in there. Just trying to cover up some of those lights because they're so dramatic.
Okay. Now let's see what else we have. We have a bunch of these. I'm going to put some of these in the tree too. These are just gold berries I'm going to tuck in here and there. I'm trying to cover up some of those dramatic lights, kind of soften them a little. <laughs> 